You're probably wondering by now why this video is starting in a very, very random frame outside a McDonald's. There is good reason for it. Hear me out. There are a couple of things that are constant in our lives. Our lives, auto journalist lives. One is a road trip every few days. A second is abnormal hours of us waking up. And third is probably a meal at McDonald's at least a couple of times a week, which is also why our girth. Uh, anyways, uh, the McDonald's is shut. The early morning is happening and the road trip, the third constant, is what we're about to undertake on this video. Why are we doing this road trip? Well, that reason is going to be obvious and apparent very, very soon. With us is the Mahindra Scorpio N. Car that we've driven and done many, many videos on over the last year, year and a half. Time to hit the road. Time to tell you why we're doing the Bharat Drive. As the shots obviously have showcased by now, we are on NE1. Now, NE1, you're curious about, is National Expressway 1. Now, normally you have NH, SH, National Highway, State Highway. That's the nomenclature that's been used for years and years. But NE is a new nomenclature and NE1 is the road we're on. Starts at Baroda or Vadodara and ends in Ahmedabad. 100 kilometers, 110 kilometers ish. Really nice road. At one point of time, I would call this the fastest and best road in the country. That sadly title has moved on to other quicker and more modern expressways now. I mean, look, that's just something that we want to talk about in this video because there is a very, very obvious change in infrastructure over the last few years. And I'm not talking about the last government or anything like that. In general, over the last few years, there's just been a big jump in infrastructure. The Golden Quadrilateral came first and that really connected the cities to each other. Mumbai, Delhi, Delhi to Calcutta, Calcutta to uh, Chennai, Chennai back to Mumbai. And then, of course, you've got these new expressways coming up. The Delhi Lucknow Express, for example. What an unreal road. The new Mumbai Delhi Expressway that's about to be sort of finished in the next year or so is going to be crazy. Uh, we recently drove on the uh, Mumbai Nagpur Expressway, which starts from Goti and goes towards Nagpur. Absolutely bonkers. These roads are crazy. And all these NE roads, the National Expressway roads, have a 120 km speed limit. This road, on the other hand, doesn't have a 120 km per hour speed limit. It's got a 100 km per hour speed limit, again, because it is a two-lane road. You're wondering now why I'm doing all this, why I am giving you a little bhashan on the National Expressways. Well, actually, the reason to do this video is multifold. The reason to do this video is actually because of something called Ajay. No, not your neighbor, friend, better half called Ajay. It is AJAI. Now, AJAI is the Automotive Journalists Association of India. So this video's reason is a little bit personal. It's a little bit for us to talk about. Uh, Automotive Journalists Association of India is something that's been in the works for years. In fact, I got to know yesterday that the term Ajay was actually coined by an automotive journalist veteran 25 years ago. That's bonkers. But uh, this uh, organization, the reason it's going to exist moving forward, it's almost like a union of automotive journalists. It's going to be a group of automotive journalists who uh, are going to do good things for the community. So for example, grooming the next generation of automotive journalists, talking about standards in automotive journalism, talking about like we're putting out a review, for example, or things that should not be said and done. Now, what Ajay actually will do is essentially mainly run the iCoti and iMoti Awards, right? Now, the iCoti is, of course, the Indian Car of the Year, which yours truly is a jury member of, and Power Drift is a part of, and iMoti is the Indian Motorcycle of the Year. And Ajay will now run these two properties. They're also the most prestigious award in India, by far, without a shadow of doubt. So, it's always a good thing to run it uh, sort of by journalists, for journalists, and for the community. And the other thing Ajay is going to do is uh, help out the next generation of automotive journalists, sort of train them, guide them, mentor them, have them do things the right way. Because there have been cases in the recent past where certain levels of journalism, certain levels of reporting, certain levels of bringing automotive content to you, the readers, the viewers, has just not been at par. That's going to be a big change too. Now, I can go on and on and on about my community, but no, this is a car channel. You've been watching this video expecting me to talk about what we're driving, right? 
The Scorpio N Diesel Automatic. It is an awesome SUV, or as Mahindra calls it, the big daddy of SUVs. One of the best road trip cars you can have, one of the best highway cruisers you can have, because you can sit at 95 kilometers an hour like I am right now in the speed limit. I'm glad you can't see the speed limit, trust me, 95. And it just does its job. Dock converter is very, very reliable. It's peaceful. Uh, it's sort of quiet. It uh, cruises really, really well. This Scorpio N has also been shot with a rather cool set of white letter JK Ranger tires to ensure we have a safe drive. Now, I know that this has been a little bit of a weird video without much context. I'm just wondering why we're doing this activity in the first place. Now, we're doing this not just alone. We're doing this with 12 other publications, publications whose names are on the car outside. We'll put a shot here, show you that. It's 10,000 kilometers across a cumulative 40 days, doing the north, south, east, and the rest of the country. So it's just something that we're doing for ourselves, we're doing it to put out there. And at the end of the day, a road trip is a road trip. Why wouldn't we do it? Signing off from Power Drift. Thank you so much for watching as always, guys. See you later. And in the comment section, go ask me questions about the Scorpio. I'll answer them because it's been a while since we discussed this absolutely lovely car, isn't it? <laughs>